TNTM The Show presents Talking Nerdy, June edition, with your hosts Pablo Gunner, Marvin Goof, The Ambassador, and we are here to talk nerdy to you about The Boys. Let's get into The Boys! The Boys. Yeah, The Boys. <laughs> hmm. I binged it, I binged it last, uh, last, over the last couple days. Uh, to keep up with the ambassador, and so it's season four, and they only put out, or they're going weekly, right? Yeah, they're going weekly. I thought they put it out in parts actually, because there was four episodes. I didn't know they were putting it out weekly. I didn't know that. But yeah, they put it out weekly, so there's four episodes. That's what I watched. I heard this is the the scores. Once again, the scores factor in, which is the scores are worse for this season, and I've been saying this for a while, which is the formula is getting somewhat tired, which is. This constant where it's like M.M. has to take over and he gets it into it with, with Butcher. He gets into it with Butcher and kicks Butcher out and then Butcher does something to get back in and then he saves. And it's kind of like a constant repeat of this, but they change it enough where it, where you're like, okay, same formula, but different situations, you know, mm -hmm. enough. They didn't do like a complete crazy like they usually do for the first episode. We just had Butcher send a picture of his butthole to, uh, to somebody and you had to see that, which I want to know if that was really his butthole or not. Um, <laughs> or if it was just a, if it was like a stand-in butthole, you know? Um, I don't know which why. Which is known to happen. Yeah, it's like, yeah. seriously, butt stand-ins exist in Hollywood. Yeah, 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 a lot of stand-ins for, for those kinds of scenes. Um, Anything but, with Mila Kunas, if it shows her butt, it's a butt stand-in. Uh, so, but yeah, I, I'm still enjoying it. Like I said, it's still good. Once again, I feel like people are review bombing it because, because once again, these outside factors, I feel like another part of it is the outside factors is uh, you have the actors, you have the directors, you have the showrunners, you have all these people. Same thing happened with Acolyte, which is you have them do their interviews and then the hardcore old school fanboys are watching this and going, I hate this before it even came out. And so they did that, which they hated it because they went, uh, by the way, this is making fun of a certain kind of people the whole time and then they're going what you know <laughs> and so i feel like it is it is more prevalent i'm like is it more prevalent in this season i feel like it's a little more prevalent in this season it's significantly um, more it's a dumb move to do if you want success it, it's always a numbers game yeah if you dabble into anything political, you have the threat of 50% of your fan base disappearing. Unless you mask it well enough like Lucas did in the 70s, where mm. people didn't realize that it was about Vietnam. Mm. I didn't. I was a kid, and a lot of people I don't think got that it was about Vietnam, mm. right? I mean, to me, even now, if I watch it, I go like, how is this about Vietnam? But when he explains it, I go, oh, okay. All right, that makes sense. Without explanation... But I do feel like, yeah, they are going a little hard on the nose yeah, here it's just with a, it's, this season. It, and it, what's making it really hard is, like, more the first three episodes than anything else, they just suddenly started adding and talking about stuff that just wasn't there. And now it's just magically there, which, which really puts you in a weird spot. Mm -hmm. Writing-wise, if you're just, like, suddenly these issues are there that weren't there before... And would you say it's, as a person that is still not fully aware of things regarding the boys, would you say it's more about how the world works that they're adding stuff in, or is it more about character behavior? They're changing character behavior mm. to match uh, certain figures. Mm, okay. And some of them they're trying to backtrack as well, because it used to be with the boys where they really, they, they had their views, but they kind of shit on everyone. <laughs> But they're trying to, like, retcon it. Mm. Like, uh, there's there's one character that's, like, super, super evil who is, like, kind of making fun of Okazi AOC mm. there. Okay. I didn't pick up on that. I didn't pick it up until someone mentioned it. Then I was like, look, I was like, yeah, yeah. Mm. It's there. It was subtle. Okay. It was a good, good subtlety. But now they're trying, you noticed in the new season, they're trying to, like, change her character to put her more towards the good guys when really... She wasn't. E e she's not completely evil. She's just kind of, I, I would say, more of a chaotic neutral who's willing to get dirty 
mm -hmm. get things done if she needs to. Mm -hmm. Blow people's heads off. Hey, what? it works. I feel like they kind of made that change in uh, in that spinoff, though. That's where they like explained her backstory, and you go, "Oh, that's why she's doing this." Which is, she's really just trying to get. She's trying to get rid of soups, but she became one herself to get rid of soups, right? You can't kill a monster without becoming a monster type of ideology. Yeah. Um, and, and yeah, and it's, it's... So to me, I feel like that adds more layers to her character as before it was, she was kind of... She, there wasn't much there. And now because they added that, that adds more. Um, but they're still trying to redeem her. Even if you understand their modus, sometimes people are just bad. Yeah, no, just it's still because, bad. Just because they... They start out with good intentions, but it ends up bad. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, just like they say, right? The the road to hell is paved with good intentions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Um, I mean, they also say if you stand for... If you don't stand for something, you stand for nothing. Mm -hmm. So, it's... it's That's part of it, too, is like... Yeah, I, un I understand you're, you're ostracizing your, the other 50% or, or 40, whatever the percentage is, there there is a wrong and in a, in a right here, too. There is a certain level where they're saying, like, hey, yeah, this is right and wrong. I don't, it, it's crazy to me, too, because, like, even though this season doesn't feel as gruesome as other seasons, as a parent, I'm just, like, getting really turned off by, like, the complete obscene. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just like, I got kids now. Like, and there's enough bad stuff on in real life, that I don't need to see this in my... It doesn't feel like an escape. Oh, you were right, Stan. This vacation is exactly what we needed. Hello! Roger? Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey! Ah! Right? Like, it doesn't feel like... Like, for some people, it might feel like an escape, but at a certain point, I just go, like, you're just showing me... This is just... Like, modern Life. day talking points. Now. Yeah, mm -hmm. kind of. So, I mean, it has its strengths, it has its weaknesses. I still, it's still a great show. And it still stands out from anything else that's out there, too. So I know there's people that are like, also, you know, if you're the kind of person that's like, I'm tired of the Marvel stuff, and I'm kind of the lighthearted stuff, and I'm, this is your thing. This is all for you. But if you don't want to go too dark, and you don't want to go too political, and you don't want to go too hard, then this is not for you. It's still, def for me, it's still definitely worth checking out, but it's not a must-see anymore. No, the, okay. the quality of the first three episodes were so awful. Yeah. And the fourth episode wasn't perfect, but had some good moments in it that were great. And seeing Homelander get his revenge is understandable, but it also makes you ask some questions like, why did it take him so long? if he was in charge, to go do that. Because mm -hmm. that sounds more like a close to day one thing instead of a afterthought. Because mm -hmm. this just makes it look like an afterthought, which I don't think is right for Homelander. To be fair, he is an evil maniac. He was still a tested lab rat and was just, like, experimenting on, hmm, let's see how long he can last in fire. Yeah, they mm -hmm. created him. They created this monster, and then, yeah. like, when the monster comes to destroy you, why are you surprised? How are you surprised? Mm. You know? Almost like a V for Vendetta thing, yeah. it feels like. So... Maybe. Okay. Well, I, I heard this, too, that in the comics, what actually happened is that Black Noir is actually a clone of Homelander, and that Black Noir, all the evil stuff that Homelander was doing wasn't actually Homelander, it was actually Black Noir dressed up as Homelander. And so that was the twist in the comics, and they changed it just because they're like, this doesn't feel right for the show well, and what they, we're trying to go for. They also so. killed the Black Noir in yeah, the show. Yeah, right. But th about the only thing amusing is the new Black o Noir, that they, they just decided not to let everyone know he's dead. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they just... Replace him with like an actor, him. like yeah. an actor, the soup, an actor, a soup actor, kind of whatever. Yeah, yeah, um, it's so funny. He's like, like exactly what am I? He keeps asking questions, hmm. like just like, okay, so what do you want me to do exactly? 
And uh, they did get frustrated, like, Kilmeyer's like, just follow our lead and be quiet. Yeah. Yeah, there, I mean, it's it, there's there's funny parts, but yeah, like you said, there's a lot of stuff happening, like, even with Huey. Shouldn't have, this have kind of been done earlier? And, and like you said, even with Homeland, you go, like, shouldn't you have done this way sooner? It, it's worth checking out. Yeah, I, I can only give it a worth checking out. Cool. If, if it wasn't for the fourth episode, I would have probably had to say pass. Let's talk about our merch. Let's talk about our merch. I'm sporting uh, our Star Wars stuff, the Star Wars Talk Nerdy to Me, just plain. And then I got the shorts Talk Nerdy to Me. You can get that on our website. It's on sale with free shipping. Probably going to continue to be because of the fact that Acolyte is continuing into the next month. A lot of this stuff is like prototype stuff. So it's upgraded. There's better versions on our actual website. And hey, if there's anything that you want customized to you or you there anything you have any idea, just send it to us and we'll do our best to do that and see what we can get away with. Because there's some stuff we can, some stuff we can't. <laughs> you know, we yeah, push the yeah. boundaries as much as we can. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I got my uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Talk Nerdy to Me shirt. Sure. Pretty awesome. I got the Halo web. The good Halo. Ooh, yeah. Yes. I like it. So, yeah. Uh, and if you want any of this stuff, just... Request it. If it's not on the website, just hit us up and, and we'll make it available to you and, and hook you up. Cool? So for shoutouts, we really don't have much uh, because, um, well, I mean, all, MK Jekyll and Hyde is now at the top of that list because they're phenomenal. They reached 250 subs on their for their comics, for their online comics, and, and they're really cool and really awesome, and, and they do great stuff. I know they're a, a parent as well. And so it's, it's great conversing with them and just all their posts are great. The Pesky Gremlins, they have a new website and they have like new comics, web comics out too that look fun and enjoyable. And, and they always help out with their stuff. Eric Lopez, that guy's always a G, like he's the best on, on Twitter mm -hmm. and retweeting our stuff as well as the podcast that never dies or what, what is it? The podcast that wouldn't die? The podcast that wouldn't yeah, die. Yeah, the podcast yes. that wouldn't die. They're always awesome too. Check them all out. I believe that's it for us, right? Yeah, just make sure to like and subscribe. Talk nerdy to me. Stay nerdy, planet Earth. Keep it nerdy, y'all.